What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are playing T for God. This is a game where you do all the motion by walking yourself. Running. Alright. Yeah, this game is full room scaling. Now you can play it in a large play space like I am right now. Or you can play it in a small play space. Or you can even play it standing still. For the best experience, I recommend walking around. Now, you'll see these here symbols on the doors. You want to go through all the ones with the white flashing dots. Uh, he's going to explode if I hit him. Sorry, little dude. I try not to touch you. Sorry, I'm not bomb. Those are shields. Yeah. I have one on my side here. Oh, and another thing is you can press the option button. And it actually shows you how many steps you've taken. The time of your actual time of day. You've got your health and everything there, but it's also on your wrist. Charge, yes, I do. These are charge stations, still be oh, energy and health. Health slash shield. All right, so I gotta go this way. The white dots. Ah, oh. what I want to hit. Oh, jeez, I got that in the face. I've seen oh, some amazing stuff in this game. Like these giant sea creatures were like flying through the air and stuff. And then all these robotic ships were trying to shoot it down. It was just wow. Hopefully we'll get to see some of this on this playthrough. All right, I'm not sure what the flower does. Looks like health and yeah, that is all. All right. So these act like checkpoints. These paths are getting there. Hello, little explosive dude. Oh, there's two of these. We'll just walk by you. Oh, another bomb. A whole slew of bombs. All right. Grab our shield. Gonna do a chain reaction. Yeah. Boom. I hate these things. Oh, made it. Hello, little bot. I didn't know you could pick them up. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. Does that make you explode? Let's put you back down there. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that made them explode. Go, centipede. Ah, oh, he broke in the team. That's all. 
There's bullets like ricocheting everywhere. All right, guys, here we are playing inside my office area. It's very small. And I'm going to show that you can still play this game and have a lot of fun in a small place. All right, so this is weapons do murder. Damage. All right, let's mosey on out. Oh, that is a deep hole. Oh, we're moving. That freaked me out. All right, elevator time. Thing. I don't know what it is. Sea creature, tentacle creature, it's all messed up to me. Alright, oh. hey. right, so I gotta go back in here. Okay, there's a weapon. Alright, so this is damaged. That's damaged too, alright. So we're gonna take this off, throw it away. We'll pick that up. And that is our new gun. See, it just slaps onto our arm. Oh, oh. and health. Uh, all right. So that's playing in the small area. Now I'm going to show you playing it standing still. All right, so we're at the checkpoint, and now I just use the control sticks like you would in any other game. So it's got lots of ways to play this game. Why am I out of bullets? Oh, I'm out of energy. Right. <laughs> Keep wanting to walk now. Damn it. Hot water tank. Hello, friend. Can I attach this to you? No, that's just falling somewhere. Throw that back. Hey, right, excuse me. Oh, 
shooting at me. Ah. Got no energy. I'm trying to follow guidance. I'm stuck here. Oh, and I'm toast. All right, so with that being toast, I'm going to jump into the menus and show you some modifiers and different things you can do. I'll be right back. All right, so when you start the game, it's going to give you three options to choose from here. First, introduce me to the game. Simple gameplay, short, no story. It's action-oriented with tutorials. There's more exploration, more gameplay mechanics. So you have three types to choose from. There's like a friendly walk, FPS, and roguelike. We're just going to grab one. We'll go more exploration. And then it's going to ask you where you want to spawn. We'll say checkpoint. Now, before we go for the run, I'm going to show you the customizations. All right, so unlocks. These are things you're going to get throughout the game. Now, I, because I started with a new file, I don't have any. But every time you go to those checkpoints, you're going to get an unlock that you can purchase to have active all the time. And then there's modifiers. You can have invincibility, your hostiles, no hostiles, no robots whatsoever. You can make the robots tougher. You can have the map, everything. You can even turn off those little dots that are above the door to make it even more challenging. All right, so yeah, that's the gist of her there. All right, guys, so this is Tea for God. It's going to be available for Steam and the MetaQuest systems. You can download the demo right now for free and try it out. Highly, highly recommend trying out the demo. You got nothing to lose, but you have a great time to be had. I'll leave links for the demo, request, and Steam below the video. Jeez, I'm gonna die here. But yeah, if you're looking for a new experience in VR, moving around with your feet, is just absolutely amazing. It brings a whole new level of experience to this game. And as I said, you don't need a large play space or you don't even need to move at all. You can do it like this. Yes, T for God, it could be a friendly trek through the city with no hostels. It could be a FPS shooter. It could be roguelike. It's however you want. There's so many ways to play this. Check it out. You're gonna love it. And until next time, cheers.